Okay. Today's seminar continues the topic of African systems of belief. I'm going to sum up some of the main points from our text by Evans Pritchard, and then I hope we will have an interesting question and answer session. As you know, Evans Pritchard went to Central Africa in the late 1920s to study the Azande people, their traditional customs, and way of life. The resulting book, published in 1937, has become a classic of anthropology, and it is still widely read today. Evans Pritchard carefully describes the various forms of magic used by the Azande. Though he clearly does not accept these beliefs himself, he's able to see that they have a useful and constructive role in Azande society. Evans Pritchard does not dismiss these beliefs as foolish or irrational, as anthropologists of an earlier generation might have done. According to Azande belief, some people, witches, have special magical power. They are able to use this power at night to harm others, for example, to strike a nearby rival with anything from minor illness to death. According to Evans Pritchard, the Azande saw witchcraft as an inherited spiritual power passed from father to son or from mother to daughter. It could not be taught, and in fact, it might remain unused throughout the witch's whole life. It could also operate without the witch's knowledge or consent. Now, how do you know when witchcraft is being used? If someone is using witchcraft against you, how do you discover who it is? For this purpose, the Azande used a kind of test, which Evans Pritchard called an oracle. The most reliable kind of oracle was the chicken oracle, and indeed, chickens were kept mostly for this purpose. Suppose your wife is ill, and you suspect that a neighbor, jealous of her good looks, is using magic to make her unwell. You give a special substance, a kind of poison, to a chicken, saying, If my neighbor is responsible for my wife's illness, let this chicken die. If the chicken dies, your suspicions are confirmed. You might think that this would create anger and resentment between members of Azande society. However, full confirmation of the oracle's message was expensive and depended on using only the very best chickens, which belonged to the prince. Also, people believed that an oracle might give the wrong result because someone was using magic to influence it. So even in Evans Pritchard's time, it was rare for people who were thought to be witches to be punished in any serious way. Instead, people politely asked the witch, who after all might not be aware of the problem, to control his or her magic. In this way, the Azande beliefs in magic did not, in practice, seriously damage relations between neighbors. Evans Pritchard had the insight to realize that these beliefs about magic helped Azande society to function smoothly and well.